I appreciate Russia. I love that experience because I've learned a lot from Russia. The most important thing that I learned that it's very important to change your president. From time to time, it's very important. That's as important as changing your underwear. You, know? you can skip it for some time. You can tell like, I'm fine, I'm okay. But at some point, some random people will tell you, do, do something, please. <laughs> it is really uncomfortable now. Just change. And yeah, LGBT is banned now. Yeah, in Russia, it's illegal. It's an it's extremist organization. First of all, it's an organization <laughs> with a fucking office. <laughs> I don't know, Elton John is CEO, I don't know. <laughs> something like that. But what I really like, firstly, they banned propaganda of LGBT. And I was making jokes like, it's LGBTQ+. And it seems like you are fine with Q plus part. <laughs> Not only those four. No, because now they insist. They like ban. It's illegal. Only LGBT. That is a problem. And now it feels for me that it's something personal for Putin. He's mad at LGBT. It could be more obvious if he would say ban bisexuals. <laughs> Not all of them, just one. <laughs> Maxim. <laughs> hey, I, I don't trust police. I don't trust police in Serbia, should I? No. Mm. No, okay. Good enough. Because, because it's a trauma from Russia. It's a trauma. Because, for example, when you go for a walk in some nice place and police stop you for a random search for drugs and you have nothing, in most places, you will be free in a couple of minutes. But in Russia, if they cannot find anything, they will just try harder. <laughs> <laughs> they will put more effort. Maybe they will help you to have some drugs. <laughs> find it. Celebrate it together. People are afraid of police for obvious reasons. And some scammers know that. And they're using it. For example, sometimes in Russia, you can really catch some fake policemen. Fake one. I was about to be scammed one time in Russia. Some guy in police uniform, he stopped me. He said, I need to search you for drugs. Let's go to that dark abandoned alley. <laughs> and I will search you. And I'm like, I'm, it's my first time in that situation. And I ask him for documents. Which is a bold move with Russian police, <laughs> especially with a real one. You should not do that. And I asked him, it was the first time for him to, and he tried to hit me. And at that moment, I was thinking, okay, maybe he is real. <laughs> because firstly, he tried to hit me, and secondly, he missed. <laughs> Sounds pretty real for me. 